Hi guys, Greg here and welcome back to Sightens where you're gonna find all interesting civil engineering stuff. And today's video is the second one covering the local grid and as you can see here, I got a local grid, uh, we got a spreadsheet ready and I'm gonna show you step by step uh, what we're gonna do to do the transformation of our global grid to our new local grid and how to use it later on site. So let's go. This is my uh, new local grid I just uh, created in last video and you're gonna find the link uh, up here for it if you didn't see that. And uh, what I'm going to quickly do, I just maybe change the color uh, so it's going to look a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to change it for yellow. And I'm going to maybe change the scale as well so that line is going to be look a little bit better. I'm going to select similar. I jump quickly to properties and uh, I'm going to make it maybe 0.1 yeah they look much better now and that's what we got guys uh, this is our new local grid i coordinated it as i said in last video so guys uh, the most important thing is uh, that we're going to be able to set our instrument on site and we're going to be actually able to use our new local grid so for these things uh, we need information from the architect about the grid lines and about the coordinate the grid lines actually in global grid and we're going to need later a control points as well. And these are typically provided uh, in global grid, as I said. So we're going to be doing transformation ourselves. So I'm going to go now and jump to architect drawing. And we're going to have what information we have here. And uh, this is coordinated in global grid. Uh, and I need to tell you, actually, I played it a little bit. The information provided by architect wasn't the best. As you can see here, he gives us coordinates. Grid line, crossing the grid line with the, with the wall. I don't know why, but anyway. I got a two points here and I got the crossing of the grid line A7 with AA. So that's the, actually the grid line I was uh, using for my transformation. And we made it point 5,000, 2,000. So as you can see here in the global grid, this is 5 to 1, 4 to 4, whatever. And then 1, 8, 9, 9, 6, 4 uh, and 3 to 6. So this is the global coordinates. And as you remember from the last video, our new point here is 5,000 and 2,000. And that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be transforming this into our local grid. So I'm gonna use definitely this point here and I got another one here, which is grid line uh, A10 with grid line BC. So these two points I'm gonna use for the transformation. And for these guys, I'm gonna use first the Excel spreadsheet, which you're gonna see in a minute. Using the spreadsheet is very, very useful, as, especially on site when you're gonna land up uh, with a TSO6 and you're gonna, you might not have even an AutoCAD. And then you can still create your local grid and you can work with it easily. And uh, I would say even if this is more important when you got a site like this and then you, you're going to need a local grid because that's going to speed up all your setting out process very much. So uh, typically, guys, I would prefer have a one, one point here and one point uh, somewhere like this one. But as you can see, this is not a uh, crossing of the grid lines here, so I cannot take this one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open our spreadsheet and I'm going to take uh, these two points. So I'm going to take these points in the global grid and I'm going to get the same point in local grid and I'm going to do exactly the same for our second point. So let's go. So guys, uh, that's my lovely spreadsheet here. Uh, I actually got it myself from an uh, engineer a few years ago and I was always using it when created local grid and doing that transformation. And uh, later we're going to compare it with, with the cut drawing as well. We're going to take a line the drawing and we're going to have a look what error we have. As always, there are going to be some small discrepancies, but we want to make sure they are within our tolerances or that we are going to be happy with using it. So guys, as you can see here, I got original baseline here. So that's going to be our global coordinates here. So I can actually mark it here as a grid line A, crossing grid line A7 with grid line AA. So that's going to be our first point. And I'm going to take it from that uh, global uh, coordinates here, which I had uh, on the cut drawing. So let's go back here quickly. And we're going to take our crossing A7 with uh, AA. So that's the coordinates here. I'm going to type it quickly in that spreadsheet. So the east thing was... Uh, uh, I'm going to type it here in meters, uh, though the coordinates were in millimeters there, but uh, that's what we're going to do. We want, we, we, we're going to be working in meters. So that and this guy, as you remember, was actually this, the start of my grid line, uh, of my new local grid. So that was exactly 5,000 easting and uh, 2,000 northing. So what I'm going to need to, to finish to complete this, I'm going to need a second point which was uh, in our case grid line A10 uh, slash uh, BC and that crossing of the grid line provided by architect. So that was... Uh... So all we have to check now, obviously we need to come back to our local grid and we need to check what A10 and BC is in our new grid. So I'm going to come back quickly here and uh, that was A10 and BC. So. Uh... 
BCE A10, this is A10 and BC, so maybe I'm gonna just create a point here. And that's gonna be our coordinates in the local grid. So I'm gonna check the ID. So ID is 507666 and 2026438. So I'm just gonna type it in quickly and we're gonna get our spreadsheet ready. So uh, as you can see guys, uh, after typing these two coordinates, two crossing uh, of the grid lines, A7AA and A10BC in the global coordinates, in the local coordinates, uh, the spreadsheet here uh, calculating already uh, got some angles, so the rotation is now known and uh, we're going to be changing now the points. Uh, whatever point in global grid, we're going to now type here Easting and Northing and that's going to pop up here on the right hand side as the same point in our new local grid. So that's great guys. And as I said, once you work in, uh, in some job where you got only TSO6 and you got uh, no cut available, this is great as you can create your local grid only with that Excel spreadsheet and just with a PDF drawing. So calculating your save the new position in your local grid and comparing to the global original coordinates. And that's guys uh, really gonna speed up your setting out. And uh, I cannot really imagine working only with TSO6 and without the local grid. So I'm gonna take now guys uh, three control point station. So we're gonna be able to set up our EDM in new local grid. So I'm gonna go back to the cut and I'm gonna take that information here. So the information was provided here. Uh, I got a cut drawing for this as well. I'm gonna take maybe this point here, uh, which is BPL05. I'm gonna take one maybe on this side here, BPL04. It doesn't really matter, it's gonna be uh, three points. I'm gonna check, so we're gonna be able to set up our EDM. And uh, I'm gonna take maybe BPL01. So I'm gonna have three sides, perfect for resection really. As we're gonna be setting up somewhere here, we got three points. So what I'm gonna do for now, I just copy this uh, with a base point and I'm gonna actually paste it on that uh, control points from our architect here. Uh, so control V, oh, oh, yeah, so you can see here, I got one point here, one point here, and one point here. So this is great for setting out. But uh, what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to take the coordinates for these points, and I'm going to type it in the spreadsheet. And we're going to be finally ready to do our setup in local grid. So I'm going to go from BPL01, and uh, I'm going to type quickly BPL04 and BPL05. Just quickly show you here are the control points. Uh, the information is provided here for all these stations. So that's typically what you're gonna have on site. You're gonna have them in global coordinates, as I said. So BPL for one, four, five. So I'm gonna type in quickly here. I can actually copy this uh, from here. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna copy the easting here quickly. Uh, I'm gonna jump to my easting here. So control V. Uh, coming back quickly here to the cut. And I'm gonna take the Northing. Control C, coming back here, Control V, and that's what I got, guys. This is perfect. So that was the station, actually, I pressed BPL05, but I'm gonna put here back uh, BPL05, so BPL05. And that's my station here, guys. Have a look how lovely it is. We got one point here, and we got new point here in the local grid. So I'm gonna take uh, that BPL01 and BPL04, I'm going to type it in and you're going to see here new stations. And what I'm going to do after this, guys, I'm going to take that drawing and we're going to start aligning them. And I'm going to take this uh, global drawing with the coordinates. I'm going to align it to our new local grid. And we're going to see what error we're going to have on the CAD drawing as we should have exactly the same points in our local grid when using the CAD. So I'm going to type this quickly here, BPL. I'm going to take the height as well in this case. So let's do that. So uh, that's what I got now. I got my three points. I'm going to be able to do the resection now. And that was in global. And obviously, we are now ready to do our resection in local grid. And what I always do, guys, I just quickly tell you, when i down there with my instrument and I do the resection, I always double check it on site how it looks. And obviously, we're going to check it now and align it on the cut drawing. And that should be perfect. But what I always like to do, I actually try to do the two stakeout points. If you can stake them out on site, I really love to see what error I got actually on site. And when I set my EDM there, I try to do the stakeout at the same point. So I'm gonna set uh, my EDM in the global grid and I'm gonna shoot the point doing the stakeout. 
And then I'm going to have a look exactly how it is one point here and second point here and what I got actually when I'm going to set up on site with my local grid and what I'm going to have in real life. That's what I always love to do. I know you can say, that, Greg, that has to be perfect as you check on the AutoCAD and on the spreadsheet. But guys, I, I always want to see it with my own eyes that that's the position I got in the real life on site. And this maybe take you 10 minutes and then you're going to be sure. So guys, uh, I'm going to go now and I'm going to double check what we're going to have when we're going to align the drawings and using our local grid now, we're going to take a different level. I, I think I got the level number 10 from the building and we're going to align it and we're going to use it then for our setting out. I'm going to go back now to our AutoCAD here. I'm going to need actually this drawing here, our grid. Uh, and as you remember, this is our grid line here in the global coordinates. What I'm going to do now, guys, is uh, I'm going to copy this drawing here with our uh, three targets uh, and I'm going to take it into our local grid so just control copy it doesn't really matter where as we're going to use the perfect option here align and uh, what i can tell you guys i remember one of my engineers he was trying to rotate the drawing using the rotate option and uh, i think he was really lucky because that there is a great option here align and that's one you should use not trying to rotate yourself as you can get some errors and or you, you can you can do something wrong so what I'm going to do, guys, now, I'm just going to align that join. I'm going to use option align. And I got these two points here. So as I said, I, I can use actually these two or wherever two points. But just make sure they're going to be the same point. So you can use one grid line. But to make it easy, I'm just going to use the same point. So I actually marked the point here. So we're going to see here. And the second was here. I'm going to make a point here as well. And uh, I'm going to align it to my points. So I'm going to mark that drawing here and I'm going to, I want to align, I want to align it with my targets as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to type in align, enter, and I'm going to take my first point here. And I want to take it to my first point here. And then guys, uh, it's automatically asking me to take the second point. So I'm going to take my second point was here. Uh, as you remember, good line A10 with uh, BC. And then I'm going back to 8 with BC and I'm going to press it here and I'm going to press enter. And uh, this actually asked me, uh, do I want to scale this? So I don't want to scale anything here. Are we probably going to use a scale in the next one? So I'm going to press enter guys. And that's what I got here. So this is my drawing and this is actually my, my points here, my coordinates BPL 01, 04 and 05 in local grid. And they should be just exactly matching what we got on that spreadsheet. So that's what I want to check. And that's what we're going to have a look if we got any error here. So that's very interesting. So let's have a look BPL 01. I'm going to try to take maybe this, uh, copy this in there and it's going to be easier for us. So BPL, BPL. I'm going to just control copy this and I'm going to put it somewhere here in the cut. Yes, we got it here now. So so let's compare now uh, BPL01. Uh, I'm going to just press ID as always, and I'm going to check this point now here. So what we got now is 5037. So 5037, 109, and this 1972, so 875, that's 875. So as you can see here, we got the one millimeter discrepancy here in the easting but that's exactly what i said they're going to be small discrepancy but this if this is within one millimeter this is great guys we're just going to check uh, maybe one on this side here and that's going to tell us uh, if we got more error than that so let's have a look uh, i'm going to press uh, id point as well for this one and we're going to have a look what we got so uh, uh, 5077 and we got 77061 so that's uh, what that's half a millimeter anyway so that's perfect and uh, in northing we got the uh, 2108 8625 in our spreadsheet and we got here 8598 so if you round it up we're gonna have 860 here and we got 8625 so two three millimeters error here on the northing but guys look how far the points are here so we got three millimeters two three millimeters discrepancy on the length like this the distance here is already outside our building so that means we're gonna have a less error when we're gonna be doing setting out so this uh, three millimeters well we got we got one for one meters guys so i would go for this uh, it's definitely all right so now we know our spreadsheet works correctly our cut works uh, perfect we can use this uh, grid line drawing now uh, for for our local use and we're going to align one more drawing here that the level 10 and i'm going to show you how to do it and how to use our grid line now to just bring all the drawings and align them they're going to be very similar to what i was just doing now but because the scale is different we're going to use scale in this case so i'm going to just go back uh, here i got a level 10 drawing and i'm going to do exactly the same story as before i'm just going to take it and i'm going to copy this just copy guys uh, i'm going to go back to our local grid so I'm going to paste it here somewhere, control V, it doesn't really matter where. 
and uh, as you can see how big it is because that was in millimeters so what i'm going to do now actually i'm going to align it again uh, i'm going to use uh, grid line uh, 8 and i'm going to mark that point it's going to be easier for me to see this uh, make sure this is the crossing so a10 aa and we can use actually we can use the same grid line aa and uh, bd let's say so a10 and bd that are going to be our second point i'm going to put it here it's going to be easier for me to pick it up later so i'm going to mark that drawing here now uh, and i'm going to use the same option align which i showed you just a minute ago so a grid line a10 with grid line aa this point with this one here so a10 aa it's uh, this one here and then the next one guys was a10 with grid line uh, bd so i'm going to take this point and uh, we're going to train actually aligning again a10 with bd i said so this is bd and this is grid line a10 so that's exactly the second point for my aligning now and i'm going to left click it and uh, i'm going to press enter now and this is asking me as you can see now if i want to scale the objects aligning. obviously i want to do it now uh, as uh, that one is in millimeter this is in meters so i'm going to press a yes here and as you can see now we got our drawing here now with all the columns with all all the stuff to be set out and this is now in local grid so that's how easy it is obviously the scale of the lines uh, could be adjusted really but that's what you need we got you got the columns you got the openings now everything is set in local grid so you can use the align options uh, this is a level 10 now so uh, whatever level we're going to have you just can use a align option and uh, use it like that so that's great guys and then using tso6 wherever you got the corners here in the grid line position you can press it and you got coordinates in your local grid and if you don't have a cut obviously guys you're going to be using the pdf drawings and you're going to be taking dimensions provided by the structural engineer of the grid lines to the elements so guys uh, i think that's going to be slowly the end of this video uh we are ready now to do everything we, we want with the local grid and we know how to create local grid and uh, everything really so coming back quickly to that spreadsheet we got the targets here we can print it put on the wall and obviously guys put our new local grid into our instrument and we are ready to go now so guys uh, i think that's it then uh, thank you again for watching if you like this video just don't forget to leave the thumbs up guys uh, please subscribe to the channel as well and uh, by the way all that spreadsheet and all information provided in this video are going to be available to download in few days on linkedin and then you can train yourself really i'm probably going to create uh, one more grid i'm going to do like an architect job i'm going to create a grid line for you so you can download it and you can train yourself so thank you again for watching and see you next time